What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in Darkness Falls. Now we are on our off-camera playthrough again as you guys can see. Um, today we are going to be going over dyes and everything I, I really know about them. So I have a chest here set up with all my dyes. I've been keeping basically every die I, I get uh, so I can make this kind of video on it. And again, this is not going to be a complete complete guide to dyes. But it's going to be basically everything I know about them. So let's go in here and we're going to grab out all our dies out of here. And we're going to take a look through them and see what's what with them. So to start out with, you have, you know, all different kinds of dies. You know, you have blue, brown, green, orange, pink, purple, red. You have the white solvent and then you have yellow. Now, obviously there's also black, which is... I have separate in here for um, for making like my class papers and skill notes and that sort of thing. So let's grab these out here as well. And then you also have ink, which you make from the black dye. So now, black dye itself is not is not terribly hard, but it's not very easy to come across. Um, most of your dye will come from clothing, like as you loot, you'll find it in, um, you know, like your leather dusters or your goggles, stuff like that. Anything you can equip on your character that's clothing instead of armor, you normally find some sort of dye in them. Now, not every dye has a particular uh, use to it. Well, I guess they all have a use, but they don't all have, like, a, a good use, I'll call it. Um, so some of it is cosmetic, some of it has other purposes to it. So now you'll note, when you click on each die, you'll see that some of them have recipes, and then you'll see some of them do not. The ones that do not, you can scrap, you can sell, or you can put into any armor, weapon, or tool. So... If they don't have a recipe, like the brown, the green, or, whoops, my bad, not the green, the brown, uh, the orange, the pink, the purple, you know, if they don't have a recipe to them, you, could, you can do whatever with them. Now, you'll notice by, like, the sell price on these, they're very different. Purple is a great way to, or, sorry, not purple, pink is a great way to make money early on. It has... No use other than cosmetic purpose. So, as you guys can see with uh, with my points into like better barter and stuff, it's worth almost 500 per die. So, you know, early game, you probably make a couple hundred dollars off it, $300. So, it does have a good use to it as far as that. But otherwise, there's no recipe for it. And the only other thing you can do other than like socket it into your weapons, tools, or armor or um or selling it is scrapping it down now when you scrap it down you get paint which is right here so that's what this is what you end up getting out of any die you scrap down you get 15 paint per die so you know it's up to you if you guys want to end up painting like your base and stuff like that uh you will need you will need to scrap down dies and stuff so now, with some dyes, you know, you'll see they don't have much of a sell value. You know, 32 there, 17 for blue, 26 for red, 26 for orange. Solvent's worth a decent amount. Um, yellow's not worth much. And black is worth an okay amount. But obviously, you're not going to be selling your black dyes. Okay, so now let's get on to what is actually... What actually has a recipe to it? So yellow, solvent, red dye, green dye, and blue dye. Other than the obvious black for ink. So what do you do with them? Well, if you go into recipes, you can see what you can make out of each of them. You can make black dye out of blue, red, and yellow. So these are your three important dyes other than black that you're going to want to find in order to create black dye to make your class papers, your skill notes. Basically anything on the writing desk here that requires ink is what you need the black dye for. So everything here 
requires ink in order to make. So you need black dye in order to make ink. Now, how much of it will you find in, and in how much amount? It really depends. Now, as you guys can see, I found a lot of black or a lot of blue dye, a lot of red dye, and not quite as much yellow. So, you know, it's going to vary. You're going to have to look around and save it up for when you need to make black dye because it's a very easy way to get your black dye early game without having to loot specifically black dye or find ink. So, what other recipes do you have? Well, with the blue dye here, you can see you can make purple dye, which purple dye has no use other than cosmetic purpose. So, unless you're making it for cosmetic, um, there's no need for it. And it also makes solvent. So, for solvent, you need blue, red, and green dye. Now, what does solvent do? Solvent makes pink dye, which, you know, if you're... If you got it and you want to make some money, you have extra red dye over your blue and red. You know, like I said, pink is a decent way to make a little bit of money. Not a lot, but it's a way to make a few early game bucks. You can sell three of any item to a trader at a time, provided he has none of them in stock. He can have up to three stacks of an item at a time. So, you know, solvent... Again, not really much of a purpose to it, but it does have a recipe. So, red dye here, again, you can make black dye, you can make pink, you can make purple, and you can make solvent. Yellow dye, you can only make black. And then green here is only for solvent. So, out of these, the only four that I would ever really keep in... Other than, you know, the scrap down for paint is going to be the black dye, the yellow dye, the red dye, and the blue dye. Everything else you can sell, you can scrap, sock it into a weapon if you want. I mean, I'll, I'll even show you guys here. Uh, we'll socket them into my laser sword here just for, just for uh, this purpose. But anyway, you put the solvent dye in here, and as you guys will notice, the color doesn't change. The solvent doesn't really, I'm not sure if this is intended or not, but it does absolutely no difference to the color of any weapon. Now you can put your black dye in there and you can see it changes color. Put your yellow in there and again you see it changes color. But the white or the solvent absolutely does nothing. But you guys can see as you're putting them in, you'll notice the color change. Not not nearly as much on here because of uh, how the laser sword is already set up but you'll notice that each die produces a distinct color to a weapon with the exception of solvent so now does cosmetics actually change the damage of a weapon no if you watch here uh, the cosmetic slot does absolutely nothing other than change the color of your weapon so is it something that's a necessity anymore absolutely not um, so again, for me, I don't have any dyes socketed into my into my weapons. If white actually worked, if the solvent dye actually worked, I would consider making my weapons white just because I think that would look really cool to have like a really bright white weapon. But again, that's just my opinion. So for me, all these other dyes, other than the four that I talked about keeping, I can just scrap down. And you'll notice that you get 15 paint per. So... I will scrap down all these. Um, I don't really need the money, but I'll save the pink one just for just for the purposes of selling it. Um, solvent as well can go, but as you can see, everything is worth 15 paint. So, you know, it comes in play later on in the game as far as paint goes to, like, paint your base and stuff like that. But anyway, let's craft up some black dye and see exactly what you need to do that with on here. So you come in here and you just strike up the recipe and as you'll see you need one bottle of water and you need one of each dye if you're doing it on the chem station. If you're doing it on the, camp, uh, the, the campfire it doubles f as far as dye goes to make each one. So you definitely want to do it on the chem station if possible. And the same thing goes for making ink. If you're making ink 
on the chem station, it's it's a lot cheaper. As you can see, one honey, one dye, two eggs versus four, two, and two. So it's quite the difference. So let's grab the stuff we need here, and we're gonna um, we're gonna get that done. So just gonna grab a bunch of water, grab some honey. Now, one thing to note: honey is kind of uh, what do I want to say? It's kind of more rare. Um, there's not like a a perk to get it to drop from stumps or trees like in vanilla. So you got to be careful with your honey. You don't want to have to use it for infection if you don't have to. Uh, and you don't want to be wasting two of it to make one one ink. So it's best, especially when it comes to honey, to have a chem station to turn it into ink. So with that being said, let's get on in here and we're going to work on uh, changing some of this stuff over. Now I really don't need much of anything at this point in game. Um, as you guys can see here, I'll show you. I'm level one, 148, game stage 258. Um, so I really don't have a whole lot that I really need skill points for anymore. I mean, I have masteries and everything, so I don't need uh, skill points for that. I basically just have some like random, random stuff left to to grab up in each tree if I even want to get them. So, you know. Generic skill points are the only things that I really want. Now let's actually start uh, actually start swapping all this over. We're just gonna and now here's another thing. You cannot actually like craft more than one at a time. You actually have to queue it up one at a time. So just like so. And now it takes nine seconds each. You'll notice I have no wood in here. This is another thing. If you are uh, if you are sitting in the bench like this while uh, while crafting it you don't need to add any fuel source to it now as soon as you leave it'll turn off after it rolls over the next time so you'll watch here and bam it turns off so let's just grab out a little bit of wood here and we're gonna need like I don't know let's just do like that for now and turn it on and it'll go by itself now another thing to note is this can only hold six so you're going to want to be careful, especially if you're making up a bunch, which you probably won't be making up, you know, a full 12, 12 set of it. But, you know, just for this purpose, I kept a whole lot of dye just to, just to show this. Uh, this will probably be plenty for the rest of what I need as far as getting anything done. But anyway, we'll move on to the ink. Now the ink, again, one honey, one dye, two eggs. Eggs are not too hard to come by. You get any snares, you get any chicken coop set up, you can get more eggs than you're ever going to know what to do with. So, eggs are not too hard to come by. Early game, yeah, looting bird's nest is not exactly uh, a guarantee for eggs. They're kind of hit or miss. But anyway, again here, you can't craft up more than one per stack. So, you just have to queue them up individually like so and you know then once that's done ink does actually stack dyes do not so you know you can actually just let that run as far as the dyes go so we're just going to drop all this back in here just like so and I think we're going to hold on to that one to sell I guess um, but you know, like I said, you can socket these into, you know, any tool or, or armor. Um, and again, that's up to you if you want to actually put the put the dyes in here. You can see my goggles have green. Um, we can modify this and, you know, pop in a red dye, which doesn't really make too much of a difference. Depends on how you want your character to look uh, more than anything. So again, you can just pop in. Pop in a die, and you know changes the color of it. Uh, as far as your weapons go, again you can pop in a die and change the color of it. Uh, now, once you modify a weapon or anything like that, you have to reload it again. So, you know, just make sure if you're doing that, you make sure to uh, reload your gun before you end up needing it. So that is pretty much what I know about die. Now I'm gonna. We're going to go through and 
just make up some generic skill notes with it here quick. So now here's another thing with ink itself. If you're making it on the writing desk, everything is cheaper. So we'll actually look at the stuff in here. Now, if you notice, on the, this is on the writing desk here. Um, we'll just use archery notes here as, as our uh, pointer. But anyway, it takes 30 bundles of skill notes, 15 paper, one ink, and one quill to do it on the writing desk. If you're not doing it on the writing desk, everything is doubled with the exception of the quill. So again, very important to have the writing desk. You can get the writing desk, you know, pretty much right off the bat. Um, it's not too hard to make. It's very cheap. Uh, show you right here. 20 wood, 10 nails. All you need to do is make it on the workbench with a claw hammer. So it's definitely worth investing in doing that over making it in your making anything in your backpack with it because especially when it comes to like the blank class papers you know if you're doing it in your backpack or on your character for that matter uh it's 240 bundles of skill notes 60 paper four ink and one quill now that means for that much you can do two of them on the writing desk with the exception of the quill so it is a huge difference early game for getting into your new classes or you know if you need skill points again same thing doing it on the writing desk 60 20 1 and 1 versus on your character it's 120 40 1 and 1 so it is a heck of a difference um, for getting the stuff early game more so than late game now even late game honey is still you know, as you guys saw there, I only had five honey, and, you know, I'm on day 25. So, yes, I've been making a lot of generic skill notes, though, so I've been just cooking through the honey. But honey is still not something you can just easily go out to every stump on this mod and just chop it down and get a honey. It's random. You can go 100 trees before you actually get a honey, or you can get... 100 honey in a row from 100 trees you know it's random it depends on your luck the rng of the game so you know you're gonna have to be kind of sparing with the stuff early game now again ink is required for making the features now books as well which are quite expensive um they take 10 research notes 10 paper two ink and one quill and this is on the writing desk now you cannot make this uh, in your backpack, you actually have to have the writing desk for this. But, you know, again, at two ink, it is expensive. And, you know, you're going to want every little bit of your extra resources to get them when it comes time for that. Because once you actually get into the the technology tree here, as you can see, I only need to make one more for that. But as you can get into it, it unlocks a lot of really nice things that you're going to want right away. Like, for instance, um, not so much the first one here, but, you know, if you don't have a laser sword and you have everything else ready to make it, but you can't, and you're out of ink, so you can't make the second thing here, you you have to spend, you have to, uh, excuse me, you have to spend your skill points to get it. So, yes, you can spend skill points versus uh, using using another feature as now book to get another level but as you guys can see it gets expensive so that's you know that's seven skill points you could spend elsewhere for other things so you know it's just a matter of how do i put it it's a matter of optimizing um your resources for uh getting the necessary stuff done so we're just going to make up, like I said, we're just going to make up general or generic skill notes here. I'm just going to pop out five of them because that's, like I said, that's really all I, that's all I need anymore is just making the generic skill notes anymore. So I'll just pop all that stuff back in there. And like I said, that's basically what I know about dyes. Um, there might be a little bit more to it that I haven't, that I have not figured out yet. That's very possible. Um, I'm not... I'm not perfect in my knowledge of this game, but as far as I know, that is, you know, that's basically it for what you do with the dies. Uh, unfortunately, 
putting them into a weapon a, or a tool does not enhance the damage or the block damage from it, unfortunately. Uh, if it did, you know, that would be that'd be a nice little extra extra boost, but that is not the case anymore. So anyway, that's my my guide for dies. So hopefully you guys learned something from that. Um, you know, if it helped you guys out, you know, that's great. That's, uh, you know, I wanted to make this video so you guys hopefully could learn, um, you know, because it's knowledge that basically I'll, in my videos, if I, if I'm trying to teach or make a guide on something, it's something that I've learned through trial and error or found out, you know, later in the game, um, learn from watching another content creator. So if I can get you guys this knowledge early on, uh, I'm, you know, I'd be very happy with that. So like I said, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button for me and comment down below if there's any other thing with die that I'm not aware of at the moment. But, I'm, but I think that pretty much sums it up. So thank you guys so much for being here. And we'll catch you guys for the next video.